In Anime Studio, Frame Zero is special. This is where we do all of our design work, where we rig characters, where we draw our vector artwork, and so on. So when you use the sequencer and you place Frame Zero out of reach, it can sometimes be a pain to have to bring that sequence back so that you can access Frame Zero again to make any modifications or add bones, whatever you need to do with your current asset. Luckily, with version 10, this has been changed so that frame zero is always accessible no matter where your sequences are. So as an example, on screen right now I just have an animation going on here with a chess piece. Kind of comes in and does some stuff. And let's say for instance, on the sequencer, I want this animation to start sooner. In other words, I want to bring the sequence so that it goes before frame zero. Well, I'm on the sequencer, and I can just drag that now to the left. So now, on the animation, you can see now he's kind of starting more midway through the whole sequence because we put the sequence past the timeline to the left. So this is what I'm talking about in past versions of Anime Studio, where frame zero would not be accessible. You would then have to bring the sequence all the way back out here so that it's right there, and then you could access frame zero. So now, let's bring that back. If we click on frame zero, you can see that frame zero is now accessible no matter where your sequence is. And you can see right up here, I can add bones. I could come in here to the character itself, go onto a vector layer, access the drawing tools, and so forth. Now, just to demonstrate this further, let me come back out here to this character sequence, and I'll bring the character sequence so that it is back in its original spot, and I will make then another layer by duplicating this character's layer. Okay, and we'll name this one King Offset. Now with the King Offset layer selected, I will offset it. I will bring it back so that basically it starts midway through like we did before. So now when we play this you can see we have two different things going on because these layers are sequenced differently even though they're the same layers. However, if I go to frame zero on the offset one, you can see frame zero is definitely accessible. If I go to frame zero on the one that's not offset, it's the same thing. This will work for all layers. Universally, any layer will go to frame zero to its frame zero once you click frame zero. And it's as simple as that. So it makes things a lot easier to work with, especially if you happen to be moving things around on your sequencer. If you'd like more information on Anime Studio, please visit the official Anime Studio website at anime.smithmicro.com. Thanks for watching, guys, and we'll see you next time.